Motorcycles Rebellious Disclaimer This e-book has been written for information purposes only. Every effort has been made to make this e-book as complete and accurate as possible. However, there may be mistakes in typography or content. Also, this e-book provides information only up to the publishing date. Therefore, this e-book should be used as a guide, not as the ultimate source. The purpose of this e-book is to educate. The author and the publisher does not warrant that the information contained in this e-book is fully complete and shall not be responsible for any errors or omissions. The author and publisher shall have neither liability nor responsibility to any person or entity with respect to any loss or damage caused or alleged to be caused directly or indirectly by this e-book. Introductory We can greatly appreciate the enormous benefit of motorcycle brakes the moment we are faced with our most nerve-wracking and supposed to be dreadful ride. This is the reason why we have to maintain it well. We must be certain that it will not keep us hanging whenever we need it. It can turn out to be our last feasible resort no second chances because what we can be battling in the situation is our loved one's life or our very life. Every part of the brakes must be carefully examined so as to prevent troublesome incidents in the future. We also have to consider the brakes good wear characteristics, kind whether OEM or that of an aftermarket motorcycle parts, its price, and of course its function and performance. According to the expert, the best motorcycle brake is that of an OEM. That is true. However, there are aftermarket motorcycle brakes that are equal to the OEM's quality but of lesser price. When you know you have a better option, why will you settle for less? Why not grab the chance to own the best? The common motorcycle brake pad design depends upon the disparaging process of dragging the pad against the disc to create the heat or friction in order for the bike to stop. For the braking fluid not to boil or denigrate, heat must be dissipated. Thus, the pad has to have a lot of fill material for heat dissipation and the friction portion of the pad chemistry must be very severe. This will reduce the amount of actual friction producing material. Nonetheless, this may lead to short rotor life, noise, brake dusting degradation, and reduced effectiveness of the pad itself. There are other manufacturers that undertake on a totally different principle in creating bikes friction. The brake pad material is adequately heated to embed into the brake disc. This material transfer from brake pad to disc continues as long as the pad is in use. Cushioning effect will become apparent as the embedded material gets thicker with use. This effect dampens the tendency for the friction material to seize the rotor. This system is called the carbon brake system. Bear in mind that an excellent motorcycle brake has a good bite, dissipates heat well, and is durable. These qualities must be your basis in choosing your brakes. This is the neutral ground where we decide what brakes to use. Chapter 1, A Hazardous Sport Quality motorcycle gear combines comfort, style, fit, durability, weather protection, and armor. The bottom line with equipment is, you will eventually fall, and when you do, you will most likely become very close friends with the pavement. So, you need the maximum impact and abrasion resistance as possible. Armor is extra padding sewn into the jacket or pants to cushion likely spots of impact. Road rash is the not-so-fun part about riding a motorcycle. It is painful and bloody, but impacts can cause serious and sometimes fatal internal damage. So, shoulders, elbows, buttocks, and knees are spots that you want to be well protected, as they are the most common of impact points. In any serious crash it isn't hard to get a bruise on all of these body locations. Other common regions of impact are the chest, back, and collarbone. So, as you can see armor placement is crucial. Material used for armor is another major concern. They are usually composites of plastic and foam. 
simple plastic plates would slash through the material and expose you to injury, so they put hard plastic plates inside a thick layer of firm foam. Some garments also have built-in spine protectors. If not, however, and you feel that you are not properly protected, jacket liners with armor pads are available for purchase, which are called bodyguard jackets. For the most part, jackets off the rack consist of small, medium, large, and extra large. But there is more to a well-fitting jacket than that. Your protection depends on how well your equipment fits. If you luck out and find a jacket that you like and fits well off the rack, you're in business. But if you don't you can order custom-made leathers. There is five companies worldwide that can do your custom fit, Langlets, Bates, Z Custom Leather, Vanson, and Aero Stitch. But don't expect to order up your jacket and have it in a week. Each company can only produce about 1,600 custom jackets per year. For complete chapters and videos you can click the link in the description below. If you like this video kindly hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos, thank you.